Hello, AOS fans. Hello. Uh, we're back again. Uh, here we are. We haven't got a game for you tonight, but we are uh, doing another unboxing. Yeah. Uh, people seem to like those, so I hope you enjoy this one. Or hate them, one of the two. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, there is this. Oh, my well, God. One of you out there is another. Don't watch it. Um, but, um, yeah, this is uh, Dark Souls, the board game. And this is a non-GW, so you've done some non-GW stuff recently. Yeah. I haven't, so this uh, is all a bit strange. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, it's good to diversify. I can't find uh, the GW logo. <laughs> Sorry. It's from Steamforged Games, yeah. who uh, do a number of uh, uh, popular games, uh, most notably, I think, Guild Ball, which um, mm. hopefully will be for you at some point in the future. I've never played it, but we have a match, which I don't have the game. Um, and so yeah this is uh, was originally funded on Kickstarter but I believe now it's available uh, to buy uh, the Kickstarter was uh, moderately successful uh, they were looking for £50,000 funding Pete you know, guess how much they raised <sighs> I know it's going to be some ridiculous number now, isn't it? It's like, like number, a million yeah. or something. 3.7 million. What? Yeah, exactly. So, Us uh, nerds do so not know. So, you have already got it? this game. And mini games are huge on yes. Kickstarter. Well, I backed another one called Deep Madness, which okay. hit like well over one and a half million. Yeah, and uh, the, the uh, C Simon uh, could call me or not games. They go for staggering numbers. As today, we're all about Dark Souls. Um, so, uh, quick look around the box, it's still in the cellophane. Chunky. Uh, it is a good chunk. Big, big, of that. thick. Big, thick box. Pretty uh, weighty as well. One to four players, so you can play it solo. Age 14 plus, 90 to 120 minutes. It'll be interesting when we play it, see that's is that Earth accurate? minutes or. <laughs> 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 Marks off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, this is, uh, again, you probably know this uh, Dark Souls is a computer game. I didn't know that until you were told yeah, me. Yeah, 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 I've never played it. Um, I think they're up to Dark Souls 3 now, I believe. Um, I've never played it. I, I have time for more games or computer games, not both. Uh, Sadly, we are not the uh, computer game reviewing people. <laughs> uh, we won't be doing that. No, no. Uh, I'm terrible. Um, so this is a cooperative dungeon crawl board game for one to four players. Uh, to win the game, it says players must work together tactically oh, that was oh. to learn how to defeat the enemies before finally confronting the boss. You can sort of see the computer game uh, element coming in there. Players will find specific attack patterns and weaknesses of their enemies again, a uh, very computer game type thing there, but they will have to be very careful. If a player character dies, the game does not end, but starting over comes at a cost. Each time a character falls in combat, the whole party must return to the bonfire and all enemies are reset. Using your usual resources sparingly, learn quickly and prepare to die. Well, we're good at the last one. In, uh, prepare to die on the back here. Uh, we can do that. Which we can course certainly do that. Reminds me of The Princess Bride. Um, My name is Nigel Montoya. Exactly. Uh, so then in big... Bold text here, it says, to prevent the coming of darkness, a curse has been unleashed upon humanity. You are the chosen undead, bearers of the curse, and mm. it is upon you that the fate of this world rests. Will you forever join the soul of Cinder and prolong the torment of Usher in an age of humanity where the curse of undeath is at last lifted? So you're actually undead still? I think so. That's a, that's a... I understood that. I understood the words. Well, yeah. <laughs> the words make sense. Yeah. But putting them into a sentence <laughs> kind of throws me off yeah. a bit. But uh, yes, it will appear to be your undead. Isn't Usher a really terrible pop star as well? Yes, and also, um, famously, the fall of the house of Usher is a thank you very much, Oh, uh, okay. The darkness. I wonder if the, the pop yeah, yeah. guy who knows that probably hasn't. Mm. Cast aspersions on his. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's an incredibly <laughs> learned fellow. Yeah. He's certainly not my thing. Cup of tea. I was going to say exactly the same thing there because we're of that age. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the box contains twenty-seven highly detailed plastic miniatures, uh, nine double-headed, sorry, nine double-sided, not double-headed, double-headed, uh, double-sided game board tiles, four player boards, sixty-four health and stamina cubes, fifteen dice, tokens, cards, tracker dials, and possibly most importantly, a rule book. No, <laughs> <laughs> rules. So um, I brought my scissors with me today because sometimes I have trouble getting into the plastic. Let's uh, let's open. see what's inside. It's a very very chunky box. You can see the thickness of the card. It's definitely not cheap and flimsy. Like some of some people might produce games with slightly flimsier card. 
in their boxes which don't stack up so well. I'm not going to name any names. Uh, there's some that could be a bit cheaper, and so they might not hold up as well. But this looks pretty. Is that pretty not sure the fact that they're more they're more rectangular and less square? Well, it might be, it might be. But I think, okay. you know, let's take it off. We had a small technical hitch there where yeah. uh, Peter's hate disgusting, <laughs> <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> completely by accident. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll open this box for you. So there it is. Mm-hmm. The uh, Dark Souls, but oh, Ooh, you died. You died. Oh well, that's it. <laughs> We're done. Bye. <laughs> this is this is possibly the the quickest we've all died. But you died. I'm liking this. Oh, it's very thematic, isn't it? You are dead. Yeah. So well, it says you're you're undead. So that's that's obviously where you, where your story begins. And in the box we have another box. A box in a box. Oh, it's got little colour cubes in. And we have a plasticky thing with cards in, lots of cards. Some Union Jack stuff in there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yes, Union Jacks. Mm. Curious. I don't know whether you might get uh, US ones, I don't know. I have no idea why they're on there. Yeah. Uh, another box, so that's two boxes. Um, and one really hefty rule book. Chunky. Nice finish, nice glossy yeah, nice, finish to it. it. Nice with lots of diagrams. Do you like diagrams? Yeah, so it has got a nice feel. I don't know. I like the simplified hey, front. It's a well. nice artwork as well. Isn't it? Ooh, it's nice. That's artwork. And then a, a useful little quick reference you think? on the back. I do like the uh, the logo you put on the front as well. It's nice and understated. It's yes. It's like, um, yeah, I don't know it's meant to be scales. Could be scale, could be armour, like scale yeah, mail yeah. with the glowing coming from within. And then we have. Everything Boards. we all love. Board sections. Boards and pressing out things. Do I like pressing out things? Where are they here? I was say, where are the miniatures? I guess, I guess they're in these boxes. Mm. So, uh, ah, so these are the player boards. I'm not going to press them all out for you now. Uh, but we have a knight. Oh, nice and punched. Yep. Yeah. Um, they have a knight. So strength, dexterity, and intelligence, and faith. Seem to be the characteristics. Uh, yeah. There's a so there's a, a warrior. So the knight, a warrior. The uh, the herald. The warrior is obviously better at strength. The knight is slightly better at dexterity. The assassin herald, there. Herald is definitely more about faith. And the assassins. Ooh. A bit of stuff. And then lots and lots mm. of dials and things. Um, oh, they're double sided. Oh, some of them double sided. The dials look very very reminiscent to those who play Fantasy Flight games. You get lots of fancy. They have lots of dials, don't they? So they've got numbers around yeah, the outside. And then they press together and connect together. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you know we get a pin. I'm guessing there's some pins in there. Lots and lots of counters. And this oh, says uh, counters. Da- Dancer of the Boreal Valley, Dragon Slayer Ornstein, and Executioner Smoff Smow. Smow. Yeah. What was the name of the dragon? Oh, there's more. Bori or Outrider Knight. Oh, yeah. Smaug. Gargoyle Smaug. and Titanite Demon. Winged Knight. Winged Knight. Knight. Demon. Winged Knight. Winged Knight. Yeah, so, yeah. Interesting. They might have stacked together, I guess. And then these must be the double sided <coughs> dungeon cards, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Ah. A bit choked up and emotional about the quality of the game. <laughs> A really nice. Tiles. We uh oh, and the artwork is really good. Uh, I probably get picked to see the scans up, but they are awesome. Actually, I I know I'm wax lyrical about the uh, Gaze Workshop tiles for um. Well, these, the these quest, do, but I think these are uh, not not above those. They're definitely going to run for their money. They're, they're nice and thick. They're bigger. But the detail on it is nice. I'm interested. I'm already interested to find out what these. There's lots of little yellow dots across it and stuff and yeah. this red skull thing in the middle which seems to be yeah and thematic this has got a number of different there's got it's got different colored dots yeah. and things which is obviously something to do with the okay. game yes possibly the characters i don't know mm, could be so there's eight of those i don't think there's any they're all the same shape so they're all they're all square mm. but they all have different things on like this one obviously has a like a thrown dice at the top there and on the bottom one here it's got some kind of hallway design or sort of grand chamber design. Definitely appears to be in a castle or something. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely well, dungeon-y dun- or yeah. dungeon I was about to say castle. dungeon. Well, sorry. It's not a rough-hewn dungeon, if it no, is. No, it's... Uh, but it's definitely indoors. 
bit dwarven in some of its sort yes. of uh, yes. um, iconography and nice, uh, yeah. some Celtic knot on that's that one. the one I was trying to think of Celtic design yeah um, so I mean your immediate thought from looking through just this bit is that uh, your three point seven million pounds was quite well spent yeah so it's a really nice I've never spent that much on something <laughs> <laughs> when you've been playing you've been playing for games yeah, games, right. games. Yeah, right. um, but yeah that looks I'm impressed I'm impressed with that it's all yeah there's, somebody's got somebody's got people in they've got sort of people doing stuff or, looks, or, or some kind of ma- weird magic stuff it's all a bit funky we'll obviously put some scans up with some of these things if we can um, I don't want to give too much away obviously because they'll want you to be able to see them in the flesh so what would you like to open next page we open I think we should open the cards and the see cards? what these Union Jacky things I, th- I have a feeling that these things in here are the best say to last ok yeah. well, the bag opens nicely it's a small thing but you're not there you're not I sometimes you're chewing away from like away. a rabid yeah, wolverine trying to get the probably find that we are with these now yeah. um, so these interestingly are mm. I don't know which, well I assume I don't know which side is the backs. I assume this one. Well, this one's got it's got a little icon on one side, and then this one has on the other side definitely got some details. And so this has leaping frost. So there's obviously some kind of special ability or something like. It's got a lot of different diagrams, which slightly terrifies me. Mm. There's like four different di- diagrams yeah, and that three different sets like of numbers. Three rooms with different skull. Well, rooms. that bit there. There's a little bit in the middle there, which actually matches the. Uh, See, having the, said that, they did not. They did that in the house. I can't get in here. Uh, that matches this bit here. So you've got the four different zones uh, here. Match the think? potentially maybe the four mm. different zones. Oh, I could be guessing there. I think I'll probably just make it. Just make it. Just Who knows? Ignore me. Anyway, we'll stick a couple of these up in a moment for you as well. And whilst you're looking at, it, you can see there's lots of different things on there going on. So without knowing the rules, I'm looking at this and I'm just a little terrified. But I'm sure it's probably all quite easy once you get into it because most of these things are after a little while. You just quote most of it off the top of your head. That will be definitely something we'll be looking at when we do the actual full board game review. Um, is it intuitive? You know, is it comp? Because I mean, uh, we've played many really, games. It's that... only really, it's only really Warhammer Quest I can compare this to now. Yes, uh, Warhammer Quest is pretty con- intuitive, and it's pretty simple. You've got your character sheet and okay. just a few things. The on Union there. Jack is just a single card, so I haven't got wondering what on earth it was. I think it might just be a, a it's just a cover sheet, cover, yeah. Right, yeah. So. Nice Maybe touch. you will get a US one if you're in the US or a German one. Of course, one if, if you do different Germany. ones, you're going to have to collect all the different or ones. Or if you're in Poland or Indonesia, you might get a red and white one. You wouldn't know which country you're in. Um, it's handy. You can look at it and go, oh, yes, I'm English. I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know where I was for a minute there. Um, and these cards have, um, they match those tasks. And we've got the Dark of the Boreal Valley and the Executioner Smaug. Smaug, Smaug. Smaug. Yeah, the Gargoyle again, so they must go in the. Thing, and mm-hmm. then this looks like so these are the backs and they have different they have slightly different logos on them so they, so yes the, these are obviously the backs of the cards so these have all the details on them and that's all yeah. right there, there are definitely different logos because I've got yeah. what looked like some kind of action cards like double slash right. or large hollow soldier which sounds more descriptive than actioning <laughs> but there's definitely di- four different sort of logos I've got on the back one, I've got different ones again so I've got a, mm-hmm. oh this one's actually look at that that's a sort of woman, and that one's a dragon. Sorry, you can't see this. No. And that one's a Ooh, woman and a dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah. These could be bad guy ones, potentially, maybe. So Sweeping that's... strike. Who knows? Oh, we'll find that out, I guess, at some point. This... They're very nice cards. They're nice and... nice and. I reckon it's treasure, because there's, a, there's, a, a, uh, oh, there's a, treasure. a treasure chest on the back there. I won't open those now. That's got a claymore on that side, so I'm guessing that is treasure you can find. This looks like special equipment, because this is a Santia's spear, so that looks like you and can pick up different equipment. It's got a little sword logo on the back there, so that's probably... There might be different logos. Yeah, this, one's, this one's a treasure chest, but this side is ghostly keep, which is mm. just something different, so I am going to open Ooh, this maybe one. that's like... Uh, it tells you what's in the zone you need to or something like that yeah. this one I can't tell because it's got another Union Jack on there and the back's just the, the actual back of the card so I'm going to have to open this one and look as well need large slushy nails for this bit mm-hmm. need a gene stealer need a pet gene stealer haven't found any haven't seen any plastic bags yet no no plastic bag count zero mm. uh, another little another little Union Jack blank cover protector. I wonder if it's to hide something. We're just giving away valuable stuff. So. <laughs> uh, this looks it's like some kind of magic items because you've got the t- 
Titanite Shard, you've yeah. got the Effigy Shield, the Heal Aid. Uh, I thought they said Hearing Aid to start with. Hey, uh, hey, what's that? Uh, heavy Gem. Is there a thing there for opening plastic shrink wrap? Yes. Because I could do it. What Unfortunately, uh, it was in the pack that you needed <laughs> some plastic shrink wrap. Shrink, 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 shrink wrap remover plus one. And again, these all have different logos on the back, so I can foresee that you'll end up with multiple piles oh, yes, of cards different. to be different things. So I've got two items of treasure and then I've got um, almost like nebulous force. Yes, because those match those ones. So whilst they were different packaging, yeah. I'm guessing they're just extensions yeah. of the same thing. So these are look like locations. The Deeps, uh, the Forgotten, Broken Passageway, Dark Hollow, Forsaken Depth. So they have different numbers of uh, symbols. On symbols on them. So I'm guessing that's some sort of... Um, yeah, they're probably your locations. Now, we haven't seen any bad guy cards in here. So I'm well, guessing unless, this must be in the rule. Unless those... Well, yeah, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the bad guys are. See, if we played the game, we would know who the bad guys are, wouldn't we? Pa! Encounter that bomb, the bonfire tile. Oh, that's the that one, one, that one with the... Um, that's the bonfire tile. Yeah, that is the home, that's your home base. Oh, is that? Yeah, so you can go there and do all your, get all your DIY needs. Oh. Little, little, uh, it's a big UK-based joke there. Um... <laughs> And uh, it's a sort of like Home Depot. Yeah. Um, it's all right. It wasn't funny to UK people. Either. I just made the jokes. <laughs> Not so they have to be funny. I don't write the material. I just read it out. <laughs> There's a lot in there about uh, setting up after the mini boss. Boss selection. The boss selection, all that kind of stuff. Oh, so there is a card there yeah. which matches this tile here. So I said we had no bag of cards, but then you've got. Choose the mini boss the players would like to fight. Then find that boss's model, health dial, boss data card, behavior cards, and boss treasure cards, and set them aside. These game elements will be used when the players reach the mini boss encounter. Mm, so you got things like plunging us. I have a mini boss. He's four years old. Uh, anyway, lots of stuff there. I'm not going. You don't want to sit while I stuff. sit and read that, but there's lots of stuff in there. With boss data cards, behavior cards. Half an hour of quietness as we just boss go. arcs. Mm. Uh, boss mm. activation so yeah campaign oh, there's campaign rules campaign rules, all like first campaigns. journey not that we ever get a chance campaign to play a campaign of anything Cold Souls Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3 that is a problem with all the things that we want to do yeah we never get a chance to do a campaign in any of them no and if we did we'd have to do like a rolling one week thing there's for a, each yeah there's a campaign tracking, tracking cool. sheet in the back mm -hmm. like the look of that what's in here mm. So this is kind of like a big... Is it plastic or is it resin? Well, I had this discussion with somebody on Facebook the other day. Oh. He said he was a bit snotty with somebody. Oh, they're not plastic, they're resin. And actually, they're both plastic. Oh, these ones are plastic. They're both plastic. Oh, technically, they're all, <laughs> yeah. It's all plastic. Yeah, uh, but I, I don't know is the answer to your question. Well, I don't know yeah. if it's GW type plastic. Because some people get a bit snotty about some of them. They go, oh, well, when you buy these these Kickstarter things, they're all resin models. And, and the minute I see resin, I just, I'm not funding that at all. I'm thinking, I, I think suspect it's that bad. Probably resin. Some people really hate resin. And it can be a bit of a pain, yeah, but. No resin. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There's a little, so oh, this we've got is, a bag. We've got a bag. Say, One Pete, bag. Pete interrupted me. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. This is the first, my first sort of look at non GW miniatures, really. Yeah. I've got some Imperial Assault ones, uh, mm. the fancy ones. This is my first look, so let's have a look. They are definitely resin, aren't they? Um, that's hard to tell, actually. Okay. Uh, I think they might be. I think they're resin. They, they're, not, they're not as clean. As GW figures. No, they're, they're definitely, and I think that's because they're doing a different scale of yeah, production. Okay. But they yeah. are definitely, yeah. I mean, they're not bad, to say the least. I mean, we're looking at the chain mail on the detail on this guy, and it's yeah. it's still very, it's very good. fine. A bit bendy. It's, I think it's, yeah, and I think the fact that his axe is a bit bent might indicate that it's resin. Yeah. Warm. Resin yeah. tends to bend, and you have to reheat it reheat and straighten it, yes. it all up. Yeah, I find that a lot with the uh, Imperial Assault figures. Oh, look, there's an undead crossbowman. There you go. You can't don't even quite see it there, but there's a bit of a, a bit of a bent axe situation going on. Uh, so that might not have come out at all, but if it didn't, you can definitely see some of the models in the plastic pattern they've got have, have suffered slightly. Mm -hmm. I think these guys are the heroes. I think they are. They're definitely in a different yeah, colour, aren't they? Uh, that, I think that's the warrior. They look a bit more heroic as yeah, well. Yeah, this guy got a massive weapon. Um, really long sword. 
but these parts are really thin aren't they I mean look at if you look at the spear on that yeah that's really thin I mean it's it's held up really well though mm. and these aren't bad models at all they're definitely not 28 millimeter scale these these are 30 something mil scale they're bigger than regular 28 mil scale stuff I mean if we I'm gonna pair it over here with something else He's crouching and he's about the same size as this yeah, one, yeah. other model over here. You can't see what I'm comparing to. But I'm comparing to a 28mm scale model. So they're definitely, you couldn't proxy these into other games, really, I don't think. But then it's all for its own own use, so. No, yeah, you def these, are, these are definitely bigger than your um, undead yes, army figures, aren't they? Definitely. definitely. These are nice. Yeah. Very tiny pinhead things. <laughs> say but, tiny pinhead. Uh, but, but their models themselves are really nice. Yeah, so that's... Um, with giant halberdiers with be nice to paint, paint wouldn't it <laughs> that's a big flat area of big shield yeah, there that you could do some nice good. work on. I'm going to hopefully do some painting uh, reports on these but my painting reports are things that always drop off the to-do list so and we'll see how we go I want to play games more yeah. and there's some archers do like an archer um, do I like an archer yeah. um, I mean even the even your bog standard skilly gogs have got a fairly dynamic pose to them yeah yeah, a nice little slashing, lunging attack. The, uh, the, I think the, the poses of the miniatures is, is good, but the, they're not, to be honest, they're not the quality that uh, of, of Games Workshop. Um, no. But that doesn't matter. You're playing, you're playing the But game. these are definitely more board game exactly. figurines. They so are very, yes. They're more like a hero quest yes. listing, and when you compare yeah. it to something like that, they're miles. I yeah, think. they are. That is very true, Pete. They're not, they're not. Um, they're not of the same. No target what kind of a but it looks like he's firing a lance that's heroic scale i think yeah. that. that's that's fantastic he's literally firing a a, 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 a literally like a demi lance at something, something <laughs> like that well it's not gonna i'm back to take all of those no, out no uh, but um so that's the minis and we are missing bosses do we, do we see bosses sorry i don't think these are bosses no i think the these are regular are dudes. so what are these these are the dice these have got these look like combat dice, don't they? They're dice with swords on. Yeah, we've got a bag. D threes, effectively. Yeah, one dice, two dice. Well, there's no, no dice. No dice. Well, no, this one, this simple. one's one, two, and threes. Yeah. These orange ones, but then this one is definitely got blades. zeros and ones. Zero and ones twos. and twos. Okay, so maybe that's more. Maybe that's boss dice, and that's regular. Not, yeah. Poor little pleb dice. Yeah. No, I do like these figures. Oh, that's quite nice one. Yeah. So you've got some pointy dude there yeah, with some kind of lion mask. Yeah, so a cat face, but yes, a lion mask. Yeah. A bit more, uh, yeah, <laughs> more impressive way. Oh, they're, they're, they're different colours. That's why I haven't seen these. There's a blue one. Ooh, blue ones and green, green ones. ones. Oh, so maybe they're different people. So yeah. the, the knight fights with the black ones, but the, I don't know, actually, it just makes it up. Yeah. Just makes it up. We can postulate all day. I like him. I like his lion. I can't look at a bit soon. I like the lion dice. I like the lion mask thing. Yeah, he's good. He's a yeah. good miniature. I, I think spear's a bit bent again, so he's yeah. straightening up a bit. We've got another, another we've we'll moved many things to move out of the way. We'll move them down there a moment. And another box. This has lots of little squares in it. Lots of little boxes. Cute. Whoa, this is the bosses. Oh, big bad bosses. Bag of cubes. So we've got a bag count of two now. Yeah, black, red and white. Definitely wood cubes. You can see they've definitely just been popped cut and dyed so they're there's nothing they're not like it's not like dice doesn't matter which way you have those around they're obviously some kind of counters which I quite like the idea of yeah, these good. are definitely premium boss oh, models if you like big baggers yeah now uh, how are you going to get this one comes whoa there's tails around there they're really packed in carefully aren't they there we are. Oh, he hasn't got a head. He has. He has. Oh, no. oh, oh. No, he, he hasn't got a head, but I think that's that's the way he's designed, I think. Do you have to stick something on I there? I don't know. I think he's got runes on it. He's got runes on it. Oh, yeah. So maybe some kind of... Yeah, this course. thing has got this weird... These two <coughs> weird bits sticking out. It's got a great big long tail and and no head. But I think, like you say, I think it's some kind of statue which uh, has some runes on where the neck piece is. But that's quite quite funky. Yeah, don't look too hard at this. I was looking at this, and you can't really see it, but I thought it was like, oh, there's like a, like a goblet or a vase, or maybe it's some sort of piece of scenery for the game. 
And actually, no, when you pick it up, it's, it's just a the guy's mass, hammer. It's a massive <laughs> hammer. <laughs> it's a massive hammer, and he's pretty funky. He's got some, I, some weight issues going on. I can't comment on his chin no, area. No. It's it's, it's a unique model <laughs> idea. It's slightly <laughs> slightly <laughs> used. Do a close up photo. I think I think uh, slightly, slightly odd. I like the model though, actually. And that these these to me are of slightly higher standard. They, they seem, this one certainly. I don't know if it's because they're bigger. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely a multi part thing because you can see some of yeah. where the, the tail's been stuck you in feel, the arms. This one in particular on. feels better finished. You feel that? That does actually feel better than some yeah. of the others. Now yeah. I don't know if that's because it's bigger and it's a cleaner area, maybe, so it's a bit easier to cast it. One thing I do, one, one thing that strikes me about this is you get quite used to certain people have certain iconography and styles to their models, and this is very different to anything I've seen before. And it's very. See, this is I like this. I do like this sort of heroic scale knight, evil knight type figures. Got a couple of weird little wing uh, things. This on the is back actually there. the figure I've been waiting to see. This one, which I think is the figure Ooh. on the box, is like a crouching. Um, Evil thing, knight. Evil, <laughs> it's kind of like a skeletally with a giant knight. slightly bent sword. Uh, got all sort of crouching down on all fours. He's a, he's a cool model. I like him. Been looking forward to getting hold of that one. I have to say. Uh, and then these are definitely a, a size bigger than the other. We'll try and get some pictures. Of these. Like a seriously long, um, by the long face. Um, so nice cloak. Quite smooth finish on that though. It is nice and smooth finish. The cloak's not particularly. It hasn't got lots and lots of ruffles in it. No, it's, no, it's, it's nice. It's nice. The sword's interesting. Certainly, be interesting to paint that. Bit of uh, shading and dry brushing on it. Mm. But come up nice. It's got a nice really neat pattern on it, <clears throat> which is nice. And the arm has got a similar filigree on it. But there's definitely some manual assembly that's gone on with all of these ones. It's not all just been production line punched out. It's definitely all these have had a level of right. pre assembly of the box. Yes, this, this guy definitely has. He's got his wings stuck on. Uh, but you can see the glue there. Uh, saves us a job anyway. Yeah, um, that. I don't know. That's, a, that's a, almost like a dragon, I guess. Some kind of weird dragon, dragon thing. It's got yeah. a shield on. And it's got an axe on the tail. It's got an axe tail. Yeah. What do we do with axe the end of tail? Axe Stick tails. an axe on it. Axe tail soup. <laughs> uh, and the shield again nice filigree work on the shield oh yeah that is quite detailed yeah, yeah. Again. yeah and the axe is similar so these hero models are of better better uh, quality I would say than the uh, troopers which is kind of what you'd expect yeah um, and what you'd hope for not necessarily what you'd expect what you'd hope for so he's definitely uh, you can see the size of his hammer and the size of the of the guy there his, his hammer's bigger than this guy so if he gets one hit on it it's just it's just gonna be gone underneath there's pancaking <laughs> but it, it's very odd because the i'm not used to seeing a different model iconography and imagery and this is no. very different to anything i've ever seen before and it's weird but not not bad weird in, in any stretch i mean some of these things are, are really freaky looking but at the same time it's like oh that was really cool <laughs> none of this i'm sitting there going that looks a bit naff i don't like that no but, all... no i really like the uh the the, the sort of style of figures yeah um, there's a definite style with it it's not ripped off of they've nope. not ripped off any other fancy trope or anything but no. it's all very individual apart from the end it's kind of um, it's kind of a good one <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah you have to reinvent everything so that pretty much is Dark Souls uh, get a lot of models of figures. Love, I, I, nice big I ones. think I like the figures but I love the look and feel of the rest of the game um it looks like a lot going on in yeah, that game. There's yeah. lots of lots of symbols and lots of different I mean, I just flicked through the uh this deck of equipment stuff and all the different things that all this stuff does is it's wow, there's a lot going on. To see how, how it plays. It could, yeah. it could be quite complex. I can imagine the first game you take long, longer than two hours, but better checking the full evening. Check yeah. in the full evening for that one. Definitely. Um yes, we will play it as soon as we can, although we have a lot on. But hopefully, maybe we can get back a, a guest star oh, yeah, appearance. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, get our, uh, we'll have a quest guest yeah. to play. Who's definitely um, not Stu. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the game retails at around seventy pounds, I believe, in the UK. Uh, so I guess about one hundred and ten, hundred and twenty US dollars. Uh, but double check. Oh, I was having a quick look on the website. Um, definitely not in the middle of recording this video. Um, I was having a quick look at the website. 
and um, there's actually quite a lot of stuff on there to get a good look and feel of the game and you can download the rule book there if you want to have a look at that before Ooh, you, uh, yeah, before you start um, nice. Well, I mean, it says you can. I didn't click on the link. It might just take you to Rick Astley. Oh, that's true, um, yeah. But, um, <laughs> if I ever had a really big company, that's what I would do. <laughs> click here to read about our company values. Um, well, you know, it's true. You know, you, you keep going this. You do never give up in this game. So that, is true. that is true. Maybe we'll you can't. Fitting. You just get resurrected again. Um, I mean, you get a lot of plastic or, or uh, resin, depending on which one it is. I don't really know. But you get a lot of models in here. They're, they're of a really good quality and a really good scale. Um, definitely not 28 mil. Definitely bigger than 28 mil. So the the models are much more impressive. You could definitely use them in other games because they're they're decent enough quality. You could get them painted up and look really yeah, nice. Yeah, this guy could uh, be some sort of nerdle beastie. Yeah, yeah, big, or big, how some kind of ogre thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got yeah, yeah. you've got definitely giant undead. You know. Yeah, several of them could just be any kind of undead yeah. thing. I mean, this is obviously a demon. Yeah. Some any description you Demon can spawn. decide to come with a spawn of some kind, yeah, some kind of this thing off the top of my head. some kind of champion he's seeing there. But there's definitely things that you could use a yeah, lot. He's of about the only one that I feel like couldn't really. He's a bit. I don't know. He's almost like a. Um, you could have that as an undead sort yeah, of white so. king yeah, kind he just, of thing. He's a bit too cheerful. He's <laughs> a bit too cheerful. That one. I'm sure he's going to kill you with a smile on his face. Um, but yes, that, so that is Dark Souls unboxed for you. Um, you get a lot of uh, card, lot of card and plastic you for your money. You get, um, yeah. you get a lot of card. I would it's say card, it's uh, yeah. on, a, on a price comparison, so it's comparable with with Warhammer Quest. Um, You're getting a similar level of yeah. card and plastic stuff, for yeah. your money, um, and you haven't got the 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 premium tag that you get on maybe some of the the GW merchandise because they do cost a bit more. Um, but you definitely get your money's worth out of this box by a long shot. I think so. I think so. Um, so the proof will be the play because mm. um, now I'm out of plastic and uh, save a game that's not doesn't playable. work. But I'm yeah. sure it will work playable. Um, so um, then the guys have been working hard on this. So uh, and uh, Guild Ball's got a reputation for being super playable. So I hope Dark Souls is too. Um, so we will be doing that as soon as we can. Um, We've got some Shadow War coming up for you, hopefully. Oh, yeah. um, and we're gonna we we played a test game of Frostgrave a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? So I think our next that game went quite well. Yeah. Might be an actual proper tabletop game of Frostgrave. Yeah. Um, probably have this Pete and I can only meet every once every couple of weeks. It's hard to keep churning out the input for you guys, mm. the input the output for you guys. Um, so, but until next time, um, I play enjoy playing whatever you're playing, and uh, we will be back. Well, like I say, in a couple of weeks. Bye. Hello, AOS fans. We're back. Uh, we've got another unboxing for you tonight. And um, I was going to say for the first time, it's not really, but it, it's definitely the first time the two of us have done a non games workshop game. Yes. Um, this is a bit only for me. Yeah, this is. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Dark Sword. Dark, Dark, Dark Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Some of them are different orientations for <laughs> the Scottish and the Irish. <laughs> we know you don't like us, but we don't care. <laughs> You're all right there. <laughs> We're never sure when you do unboxings what we should do, but we just do what we normally do. That's just know through the whole thing. Whitter off. Yeah, we we'll just keep <laughs> whittering. Then we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So that's the Herald one there. Okay, I can see those? nothing that matches though, so ignore right. that. Pick, pick it's that not that at all. Okay, but anyway, so they. they right. So there's definitely a, a more heroic scale there going on with the with the bad guys. I mean, Sorry, you, I just walked in really badly. Sorry about that. Is it thrilling? <laughs> Try that bit again, I can't remember yeah. what I was saying. Can't remember how much it retails for off the top of my head, I should have checked, but I am going to check and I'll re record it. The magic of the movies. This man also looks like it has a pair of testicles for a chin. I can say that because this isn't going in. <laughs> it's yeah, like just a I thought it was a pair of boobies. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, you got the boobies there as well. Unless there's two pairs of boobies. Mm, well, yes, exactly. Yeah, like a bit, like a chin, like a pair of boobies. Well, I see what you mean by testicles. <laughs> it's a little off-putting. Mostly because they have eyes in them and they're staring directly at me. 
I like a nice tight <laughs> fitting box. Oh, <laughs> you made it as bad as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, yeah.